So how do you beat inflation and how do you combat the rising gas prices? A friend of mine called me the other, the other day and said in California, he's paying over $6 a gallon for gas. Now that's insane, but guys, let's be honest. It's not gonna stop there. It's probably gonna go up quite a bit more. Um, $10 maybe in California. We may see very soon in the next six to 12 months. Uh, inflation's at a 40 year high, six, uh, 7.9%. They just raised the interest rates. They're probably gonna raise it another six or seven times over the next uh, course of the year. Guys, we're in, a, we're in a perfect storm for another great recession to take place. But what can you do now? What can you do now to uh, start to combat some of the high prices you're facing with gas and travel and uh, some of the inflation rates that are going up? Well, guys, there's, there's two main things that you can do, and I want to talk about this briefly in this video. If you do end up liking, liking the content and finding value in this video, please go ahead and uh, smash the like button, subscribe, and share this video on your social media network so that more people can hear this message. Number one, you got to be able to make more money. Guys, how do you make more money? Well, everybody has a, a traditional nine to five or almost everybody, if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're just a regular middle-class American, you, you're likely working for someone else. Now, while that's stable and it's consistent and it's good, guys, let's let the truth be told, it's not gonna get you to the life that you truly desire unless you are a white collar worker in Wall Street uh, you know, maybe in the financial services industry or, you know, maybe commercial real estate. Uh, but it's not typical for the average middle class American to make over six figures and live a comfortable life. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know some people making six figures and they're still paycheck to paycheck. Because housing prices are going up, gas is going up, inflation's rising, taxes, everything's going up except for the median income. Median income right now is around sixty-five dollars to $68,000 a year. That's the average across the United States what an av average, uh, uh, average person is making. And obviously, if you're married and you're bringing in two incomes, obviously two is better than one, but it's still not enough to live on. So how do you make money? You got to look for a side job. They call it side hustle or side gig, some type of side income coming in. Guys, it doesn't matter what you do. Go sell T-shirts out of the out of the uh, out of the back of your car on the side of the road. But you got to start something. There's many different areas that you can start. Many different businesses that you can start. You know, a couple off the top of my head is uh, e-commerce. Open up a Shopify store. It's usually anywhere between a 15 and 30 day free trial. Find some products on. AliExpress or Alibaba or um, you know places wholesaling websites like that. Uh, try to get something local in the United States so that it's easier to ship and it's faster turnaround. But you know maybe look at selling jewelry. It's inexpensive. It's a pretty decent markup. Uh, but that's one option, right? Is e-commerce. Maybe try affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is taking somebody else's course or product and selling it or connecting the customers to that course or product. Good thing about affiliate marketing is there's no little to no overhead. Sometimes you gotta pay to get in the program and pay to start marketing and advertising, but there's a lot of programs out there and a lot of, a lot of ways to do it free. Try click, uh, I, I think it's clickbank.com. Hundreds of thousands of uh, affiliate products that you can source and you can funnel through and filter through to find the best one. Find a good affiliate product with a lot of good reviews, go and offer that. Share it on social media, share it on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Reddit, uh, you know, Quora. There's many different places to, to put those links and whenever somebody purchases through your link, you get a commission. Good thing about it is uh, aside from low, um, uh, low entry fee or, or low overhead is you don't have to deal with the customer service. If they don't like the product, they don't go back to you, they go back to the website that they bought the product off of. So you don't have to deal with customer service and you know inventory and stuff like that. You know, the other thing is guys, um, you know, you can get into real estate, but it's gonna it cost you anywhere between three and five thousand dollars to get your real estate license, to get a license in your state, to get insured, and you know, it, it could be a good source of income. Even if you were to do it on the side, although, you know, to sell a house these days is super, super hard. Housing prices are 
you know, sometimes $150,000 over asking price. Uh, and it's there's the barrier of entry is pretty high to get into. What else can you do? I mean, there's Forex opportunities that I try to stay away from because a lot of them end up being scams. Uh, crypto uh, opportunities. There's a lot of crypto companies out there uh, offering to pay people to promote their products. Again, that's dangerous territory because a lot of that can be scams as well, right? So what are some other things? Uh, give me some of your thoughts in the comments. Drop some uh, some different ways to make a side income in the comments. If you go on TikTok and type in side hustles or side gig or side income, you'll see many different people doing different things to generate extra income. I mean, you know, go buy a paintbrush and a roller and go paint the number of people's houses on the curb. You can do that maybe 20 bucks a pop, 50 bucks a pop if you're in a wealthy neighborhood. You can make a decent side income doing that. But again, guys, all these different things that I'm telling you about is trading time for dollars. You have to spend time building the e-commerce store and sourcing the products. You have to spend time with uh, you know, affiliate marketing and going on and painting in people's neighborhoods or mowing their lawn or cutting their grass or watching kids or, or walking dogs. It all is trading time for dollars. It's good to find an opportunity where you can do something once and get paid over and over and over again. Maybe selling your music or selling art or another opportunity which I've done and I've successfully made a full-time living out of it is the insurance industry. So the financial services is one of the, the best industries to get in and one of the top industries that pops out the most millionaires organically, which means that it hasn't been handed down from generation to generation. It's actually zero to, you know, six figures and, and people do it all day long. And so we started this, uh, this uh, journey in insurance uh, life insurance in the financial services in industry, you know, 10 hours a week. We were doing it part time for a full year. As I was working for a marketing and advertising agency in Nashville, I was doing this on the side. I got licensed, uh, you know, for I think it was like 60 bucks to take the state exam in Tennessee. Fingerprints were another 30. I got connected with an organization that was 199 bucks. I was okay with that because. They already had the blueprint. I didn't have to figure anything out on my own. I just plugged into the system that they already had available for me. Okay, find a good network to be a part of, a good support system. Find mentors and coaches that you can plug into. And if you're looking for an opportunity and you, you, you think that the insurance industry sounds like something you may wanna look into, drop a comment or click the link down in my bio or in my description and get a hold of me. We'll have a conversation. We'll see if it's a good fit for you. It's not a good fit for everybody, but for those it is a good fit for, man, my wife and I made six figures, $100,000 in the last nine months, and we haven't looked back. I quit my, uh, nine, uh, my 60 hour a week, nine to five. It wasn't really a lot more than that because of travel time, but a couple months ago, I handed in my res resignation and I'm doing this full time now. You know what? Because my part time income ended up making more than my full time income. And so that's the whole idea of a side gig, a side opportunity is to build it up to where you can eventually walk away from the rat race and walk away from your nine to five job. OK, so you find something you're passionate about, you find something that you love to do and you stick with it. But hey guys, it doesn't come overnight. The success we achieved came over a course of a year studying and honing our skills and becoming an expert in this industry and learning everything we can and and leveraging our coaches and our mentor and, you know, uh, taking criticism and taking feedback and, you know, having ups and having downs and feeling discouraged, but also going through a lot of success and a lot of, you know, really, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful emotions and beautiful time. We're able to give our family a whole new life because we decided to commit to the process. That was number one, guys, finding a, a new income or finding another source of income. The other is when it comes to starting a side business, the thing that comes along with that, which is number two, is paying less taxes. Guys, when you start a new business or a side income, you become a you become a contractor or you become self-employed, even if it's part-time income. You can now take any expenses that you accrue, accrue because of that job, that side income, and you can go ahead and write them off. And so you can take tax deductions. You can take the mileage that you drive, a portion of your cell phone bill, if you do any business over the phone, a portion of your office, 
Take a portion of your office in your home and write it off. There's many, many different things you can do be, when you become a business owner. And you can even pay your kids to work for your business and it's a tax write-off. So guys, listen, number one is make more income. Number two is pay less, less taxes. But the only way you can pay less taxes legally is if you make more income and get a side job. So guys, if you found value in this video, please go ahead and uh, drop a comment and uh, let me know what, what your thoughts are. Um, uh, subscribe and definitely share this video with a friend. I love you, I appreciate you. Guys, live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.